Do you know how to protect yourself when an earthquake strikes? Hey, I'm Mario Lopez. Earthquakes can strike anytime, so learning and practicing earthquake safety is a great idea for everyone. Join us along with millions of people worldwide to learn how to drop, cover, and hold on during the great shakeout. We're all in this together, so make sure your home, workplace, school, and community are planning to shake out. Join us for the great shakeout. Learn more at shakeout.org. Shakeout Day is October 17th. Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with Bay City's Construction Soft Director for Pros. Today is the big California shakeout. And in support of this awareness campaign, we're gonna do a little drill here at our office, but of course, uh, because we remodel kitchen and bathrooms and beautiful spaces, we only drop and uh, see cover under a beautiful marble table here. Uh, Brian does have a marble table on his side over there, but uh, it's much smaller, so uh, he may be exposed a little bit to falling debris. So anyway, uh, shall we? Okay, so in an earthquake, it's shaking, it's rocking and rolling, it's moving. You gotta go under something solid. This is a solid, solid uh, structure here. We got plywood, there's actually some leftovers from a subfloor that we did, so it's inch and, a, inch and an eighth. And uh, so they say that if uh, you, you gotta hold on to your, to your structure, and some of you may be thinking, you know, hey man, that marble table may fall off and crush them. And uh, I suppose that's possible, but we have some nice heavy screws in here. And as far as in my office, this is the best place to, to seek uh, cover. So uh, if you don't have cover, you're supposed to kind of crouch down here, do a little bit of praying, and protect your neck. So that's the, that's the basics of, uh, of cover. And uh, we're going we're gonna to present you with a couple little of, uh, data sheets about uh, earthquakes and earthquake preparedness. So don't go anywhere. Largest earthquake drills ever. Practice now so you can protect yourself during a real earthquake. This is an earthquake drill. Right now, drop cover and hold on. Drop to the floor now. During a large earthquake, the ground might jerk strongly and knock you down. Take cover under something sturdy to protect yourself from objects that can be thrown across a room. Hold on to your shelter until the shaking stops. If you can't get under something, stay low and protect your head and neck with your arms. Now look around. What objects might fall or be thrown at you that you should secure in place before a real earthquake? Finally, a strong earthquake may cause a tsunami. If you're near the ocean during an earthquake, drop cover and hold on. Then quickly walk to high ground after the shaking stops. This drill is over. Visit shakeout.org for simple steps to help you survive and recover from a major earthquake. Thank you for taking part in the great shakeout. Hey, I got a few uh, quick slides I want to go over with you. This is a, a good opportunity to bring some awareness. I mean, that's the whole purpose of this is to bring some earthquake awareness for Angelinos and really folks that live over here in the in Southern California earthquake country. So the Great California Shakeout Earthquake Drill is meant to bring awareness, meant uh, for for to give folks. Uh, you know, we haven't had other than Ridgecrest, we haven't had a big earthquake in a long time. So it's always good to uh, bring awareness to some of, the, some of the things that are important to prepare because we are an earthquake country, regardless of whether we've had an earthquake recently or not. So I want to bring some awareness to you about the natural hazards that our beautiful uh, region does have. It's beautiful, but we are surrounded by um, insane natural hazards. Okay, so on here we got a slide about the earthquake zones. All those red lines, those are the known faults. Okay, there's quite a bit of them if you are in LA proper. And uh, honestly, if you're in Southern California, there's, there's, there's a ton of them. So uh, just to want to bring your attention to the general area here, LA. If you're along the coast, along Irvine, along this section here, you can see that any of those ruptures may um, increase the chance of having a tsunami. So be aware of that if you're working or you live near the coast. And um, here's a little tsunami map. Uh, this is put out by LA County, by the way. We didn't do this. This is uh, the source is uh, the LA, uh, the California Department of Conservation in this case. So those are the areas affected by tsunami. And that's that red line is the inundation line. That, that, that's basically where we would be exposed to, to water coming in. Let's see. So the, the safety, the, the professionals um, have suggested that uh, after an earthquake, after you see cover and the earth 
the ground stops shaking, you go outside and you walk towards high ground. For us, we're in South Torrance, so that would be PB. So we would, uh, luckily we're not too far from PB, we just gotta, we're off of Hawthorne, so we're just gonna walk up that hill and, or, or you know, drive up there if we can. The, uh, the next thing to bring, to be aware of, of is if your house or your building where you work in is in a liquefaction uh, area, that would mean that the ground actually behaves like liquid and the structure would start to sink. So shortly after uh, the ground stops moving, you should expeditiously get out of the building. Emergency preparedness, what should you have? I think uh, this picture encapsulates most of the things that, that we should all have. I've got a little earthquake uh, kit in my car, uh, along with you know earthquake supplies and stuff at home. So if you don't, if you haven't, uh, if you don't have one of these kits put together, uh, you can go to FEMA and um, type in their earthquake kit or, or emergency preparedness kit, and they'll give you a packing list of all of the stuff that uh, FEMA suggests you have. Lights, man, look at this flashlight. I don't think you could buy this flashlight if you look for it right now, but you should have a flashlight. Otherwise, you're gonna be uh, in an along with the rest of us, an ocean of people holding up their iPhones. It looks like a little candle. Uh, have have a have a flashlight. Man. Get yourself a flashlight. In fact, I've got a little flashlight right here. This is my little my little pack. You guys want to see? How many of you guys want to see what's in my little pack here? You see what's in my little pack? I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Sneak peek of what's in my pack. Got my little flashlight right here. Holy moly! My battery's dead. See, this is a good opportunity to take take a, a, a little audit of your stuff. I'm going to change my battery, man. Actually, I think this comes out the other way. All right, well, that's kind of good to know. See, I just put that, I put that battery in at the beginning of the year. It must have been bumping up against uh, something in my pack. Um, I got some other stuff in here. Of, uh, this other section here. Oh, I got that. In case you have to open up some letters. Emergency letter or opener. What else we got in here? Something to consider. Some reading material. In case you got some downtime. And uh, you should have some cash. Have some cash in here. What else we got in here? Glass case. Anyway, I'd like to hear what you have in your uh, emergency uh, bag. And I'd be curious to see. Go ahead and post in your comments below. Everybody, everybody has a little bit different stuff in there, so uh, be curious to see what you find important in the case of an emergency. So remember, uh, utilities may be down. Uh, emergency services may not be available, so you should uh, take those things into account as you put your little kit together. If you want to download uh, a checklist of stuff, we have the the FEMA in a download uh, kit. So just go to Soft Story Retrofit pros.com forward slash checklist and you can download that FEMA form it's actually really cool it's a really cool form anyway if you're interested in seismic retrofitting your buildings um, we definitely have a lot of video content for that if you want to learn more about it before you call us you should probably educate yourself a little bit about what it takes to get that done we're facing probably 25,000 buildings between LA Santa Monica and some of the peripheral cities so it's, um, it's a lot of buildings that need to be retrofitted. And obviously houses, if you have a house that was built before this, uh, 1970 and you're on a raised foundation, you probably should have it bolted down if you haven't done so already. If you're down here by the beach over in the South Torrance, Hermosa, Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach, if you have a tall and skinny, you should definitely get your place bolted and um, maybe even retrofitted. That garage needs, uh, needs to be strengthened up. So this is what it looks like, seismic brace and bolt. This little URFP bolt. We're actually doing a seismic uh, job right now. We'll be posting some videos on that soon. And uh, by all means, guys, if you still have one of these uh, crazy uh, water heaters, make sure she's bolted down good because you can, you can actually cause a fire. Which brings us to the next point. You should have an earthquake shutoff valve. And that's what this little red deal is right here. This little guy's got a ball bearing. Basically, it starts to shake and that little ball bearing seals up the valve and then you don't have any gas flowing into the building anymore. So it could save you, it could save your house. Number one cause of, fi number one cause of damage after 
the, the large San Francisco earthquake was fire, okay? San Francisco was burnt down. 80% of San Francisco was lost, mostly due to fire. So you should have a fire extinguisher. We got two big uh, fire extinguishers. Uh, I bought them on Amazon. You can get them at Costco. You can get them anywhere. These small ones are um, they're cool. I mean, it's better than not having anything, but you should have a big one. Preferably two. One in the front of your house, one in the back of your house. And I have mine unlocked. Um, I want to be able... I want my neighbor, if I'm not home, to be able... If my place is on fire, I want somebody to be able to take action and just grab that fire extinguisher and, and shut it off, you know, turn the fire off. So I, I have it set up so that anybody can just walk up and take it. So, yes, I know maybe somebody will steal it and that kind of thing, and that would suck, but I'll, I'll just buy another one. I think the risk of a fire is way bigger than uh, the risk of somebody stealing my fire extinguisher. So I got that ready to roll at home. Anyway, you want to learn more about seismic retrofitting or residential remodeling, please give our offices a call. My name is Alex with Bay Cities Construction, bringing awareness to you. We are having uh, the California Great Earthquake Shake. So please do something to bring awareness. Tell a friend, tell a family member. We live in earthquake country. You should be prepared. So take some action. Thank you very much for participating and watching our free, our free live Facebook. So look forward to talking to you. Look forward to uh, reading your comments below. If you guys think uh, my, I have a crazy idea about jumping under my marble table, that'd be kind of interesting. So anyway, thanks a lot. My name is Alex. Reminding you, you don't need a contractor. You need a team of pros. Be safe out there. See ya. Do you know that an, a big earthquake can produce a wave that's two feet tall? Hi folks, I'm Alex Rodriguez and I want to protect your house for $1.99 a month. I'm the owner of Bay Cities Construction and after visiting Ridgecrest, it's clear to me that you can prevent a tremendous amount of expensive damage by having a seismic retrofit done to your raised foundation. Have you ever wondered if your house needs to be bolted down? And have you ever wondered what could happen to your house if it's not braced and bolted down? Let's check this out. Let's get down and dirty. So this is how we do a bolt down. We bolt down the mud sill to the stem, then we connect the floor joist to the mud sill, and then ideally you connect the subfloor to the floor joist. That's the system to keep this connection intact while the floor is violently shaking. Our low-cost financing makes this project affordable. The process is easy. It only takes one day. We live in earthquake country. Dr. Lucy Jones reminds us that earthquakes are random. We can't predict earthquakes, but we can prepare. Remember, it only takes $1.99 a month to protect your most valued investment. Get peace of mind with a Bay Cities Construction Seismic Retrofit. Protect your largest investment. Go to baycitiesconstruction.com and sign up today. My question to you is, can you over-engineer a house for an earthquake? Look at that, you tell me. The big question is, did we do enough? I'm Alex Rodriguez reminding you, you don't need a contractor, you need a team of pros. The ground moves and things start to fall, you'll ask yourself, how prepared or unprepared are you? Have you removed objects from over the bed and over your head? Anchored your possessions securely to the wall. It won't be a pain and you're not doing it in vain. Are your emergency kits packed? What about your family, your friends? Do they know what to do, how to get in touch and where to meet? Do you know how to drop, cover, and hold on, covering your head and neck? What if you're outside? Or in a car? After the shaking stops, look around. Figure out what to do. Stay away from damaged areas. Turn on a radio. Reach out for help. 
And if you're trapped, do not move about. Stay calm, only shout as a last resort. Once everything and everyone is safe, get prepared. An aftershock could be on its way. So before the earth shakes, the ground moves, and things start to fall, get prepared. Make a plan. Practice what you know, because an earthquake can happen anytime, anywhere. You never know. America's Preparathon. Be smart. Take part. Prepare. I love Los Angeles. Movie stars, surfing, one of the most diverse cities in America. Some days, it feels like paradise. But any second now, that could all change. Because the big one is coming. We're better prepared for the big one than any big city in America, which is to say, we're woefully unprepared. An earthquake so large that the Los Angeles you know will be gone. It's gonna be chaos. Thousands of fires will break out all over the city. The power will go out. Clean water will be scarce. They don't understand that it's not going to be just one big shake, but it's going to be thousands of shakes for months or years. There's nothing we can do to stop it, but we can get ready. My name is Alex Rodriguez reminding you, you don't need a contract, you need a team of pros.